What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are here for another game, and we have Zimbabwe as our opponent. Zimbabwe. Did I read that right? Is it actually Zimbabwe with a B? B A B? We? I always thought it's Zimbabwe without the B, the second B. Am I right about that or what? It is Zimbabwe. Wow. I, I'm surprised. He learns so much every day. I'm actually so surprised about it. I, I even think they must have changed the name. <laughs> Could it be? I don't know. Alright. Let's get on with the game. Let's make we've made him think like we're strategizing about our opening and shit. We don't give a damn about the openings. Nobody should give a damn about their openings. Uh oh. Sorry. I have a bit of a cold. So we've got a lot of pieces lining up here for a big, big attack. We just have to figure out how to do it right. Making a video. Oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try to wrap this one up a little quickly if we can, but there's no guarantee about it. Um. I think I'll go with the advanced pawn. That makes his defense a little bit awkward. Defense is definitely a bit awkward. And Bishop in here is interesting because of Queen there. But he does. He does have queen there, so I have to think of a new way. Mm. Well, let's do it anyway and worry about that later. This is a sharp enough threat that it forces a response. And now his bishop is defended by the queen, so let's interpose with a knight just in case he tries to give a hidden attack or some some something i don't know i don't know exactly and let's go back okay see you later then or Why? Wait a second. Oh, we've got to play our moves. And we're back. We're back. Okay, so we still got enough time. <laughs> and let's let's try to just play. Let's try to make up some lost ground on the clock here. Play a few quick moves, a 
a few deft touches. I don't think my position is particularly good, to be honest. But I'm going to try to get rid of these bishops. Okay, that's an achievement, I think. And next. I'm going to try to let the knight jump in in an effective square. It's got a lot of options. The pressure is surely mounting. At an opportune moment, maybe rook here, sack, rook for the knight. Uh, came up right away, came up right away. Should we check him? It's almost certain that it would be good to get a pawn here. This has to be a good position for black. But uh, it's not clinical. It's not finishing off just yet. We've got to take the open file. We've got to pose good questions. Mostly it will... Oh, this is a nice move. Nice move with the queen there. Nice way to activate the queen. I did not see that. Um, what if I do this instead? Just hunker that situation down. Sure, it's safe. You're not going to get mated. But as a pawn structure, <coughs> I think this is pretty good. Key thing is to make sure that we keep our bishops on the board. But somehow we gotta find a way. That's that's asking for trouble, my friend. Asking for trouble. Try to get a bit too cute with that. Uh, you didn't have enough time. So he's going to lose this pawn, and yeah, well, this is a bit of desperate counterplay, I guess. Try to hold it laterally. Um, but we're still going to take it, and we're still going to win this pawn either way, because this bishop will be able to come to the party at the right time. Uh, okay, here maybe, maybe here we don't try to be too cute. Bishop check, king here. No, actually bishop check to just capture it, duh. Uh, yeah, so it's basically GG. Other than the fact that I'm a little bit slow, but you know, you know, there's nothing new for me. I do this all the time. I think I enjoy the thrill, the thrill of the chase, as they say. And just gonna try to uh, get some pieces off the board and hustle our king down the line. Uh, get a good setup here. Maybe defend this. It doesn't really matter. Let's defend it. Yeah, it does matter. Make sure we keep this root chakra safe and sound. Uh, uh, that was the wrong move. That was a wrong move. Crap. I'm going to have to regret that and try to make do with something a bit less. Definitely invade. Take the seventh. Take the uh, things off the board. Win position. Climb in. Take all the pawns. Come back. Uh, no, take the other pawns. Okay, he's hung on with another piece. We're just pre-moving a little bit hasty here, but should be fine. 
yeah. All right, nice finish there. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a finish. But uh, what do we say about the game? All in all, not much to say about it. Other than that, this pawn bind is really powerful, really difficult to handle. If you saw right at the end of the game, it really came to fruition. Made a little blunder over there, but after he allowed the trade of rooks, I think that was game over. He needed to keep his rooks on the board. That's a key tip for you. Keep your rooks on the board if you want to try to draw an easy position. Cheer.